Hey Aquarius, this is Crystal Rose at Cuppy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. So I gotta tell you, <laughs> I, um, let me tell you what cards I'm using first and then I'll tell you the story. So I'm gonna start with the Golden Girls Tarot. Ta -da! I got this gift and I can't wait to share. So if you watch the Golden Girls, you'll like this very much. Otherwise, you'll just enjoy a great reading. And I'm gonna use The Answer is Simple at the end by Sonia Choquette. If you'd like either one of these card decks, you can find them in the description box down below. There will be links. I'm going to split this deck, show the bottom card. This will be our theme. Keep dancing. Oh, my God. Now I'm going to tell you what I was going to do. That's crazy. So I just finished doing the Pisces reading. I thought I'd do things a little out of order today, right? And I ran off and I was singing the love boat. But then when I was coming back in... I wanted to like spin like Wonder Woman and <laughs> it just made me feel like um like I wanted to dance right because in <laughs> I could just see myself like the love boat something is waiting up. <laughs> so anyway I don't know you guys have manifested something Whatever you're doing is right, singing, dancing, what have you, like you're nailing it, okay? You've got to be, because why else would I be doing that? So uh, remember this, because I may or may not pull it again. <laughs> Just keep dancing. I'm hearing keep swimming. <laughs> All right, let me shuffle. Golden Girls Tarot. So I'm going to do three rows. I'm going to do something a little different today. So three rows and I'm going to have it be love, no, career, love, and then money. And I'm going to tell you right now that the money row is going to be totally tied to career and love. These things go hand in hand. This is how this stuff works. So um, just let that happen, okay? I'm basically going to tie your whole life together for you in T minus... 15 minutes or something <laughs> right? ish maybe 10 maybe 12 who knows it is divine timing don't try to control the universe you'll end up going mad right all right so what do we have for aqua what do we have for aqua i'm just gonna make up a song for all the zodiacs from now on. Wouldn't that be funny if I had a little theme song for each zodiac? <laughs> Just a little teaser, maybe a little mantra. All right. But enough about my songs. Let's get to what matters. The tale of the Golden Girls. All right. <laughs> Three rows, career, love, and money. I'm gonna pull one card at the end. Let's do that now. And then we'll do our last row. And then, and then, oh, I pulled two cards for the last one in the last row. So I'll take those. Okay. Let me take an overall view. And then I will describe to you what is going on. Lots of back and forth communication and bartering I see going on in your career path. I also see in the love row, it seems like you're calling somebody out on something. So maybe this energy was keeping distant and you're like, bro, sup, are you in or you out? Is this happening or nah? <laughs> and in your money row, I actually see you going on an adventure. Now, the interesting thing is you're creating it from what you've learned. That's the best part about this adventure is it's your damn adventure. It's your life. Um, and you're like, you can come in with me and be on this adventure or you can just step away and let me enjoy this adventure of money on my own. But like either way, I'm not going to share what I have with you without you um, showing me some love, right? Okay, so let me show you what this looks like. Four of Swords. This is you chilling, resting on a little vacay. So maybe you're good with your money right now. 
You might have a decent job. You might have just come back from a trip. You might be on a trip now for the holidays. Um, I'm laughing because this sunlight coming through is making like little orbs on the cards and stuff. But it's, it's, it's like you looking towards the light. So I think that's really funny. Okay. We also have you in some kind of clear communication, a truth. And coming from a nurturing place, so I think that you presented an offer. You're like, look, if I'm creating something in my career, I want to know that um, I'm emotionally fulfilled as well because I know how to make myself happy. So I think that there's something, a place that you're at now, but you could also see more in front of you. And I think you're presenting that offer to another person to join you or you might rethink pulling your energy away in a different direction. So let's say this is a job you have now. And while you get your vacations or what have you, you also maybe don't feel loved or appreciated there. So you want to create a happy home. You want your stability. You want to celebrate. You want to be able to have the vacation, but also enjoy the work that you do. Be passionate and adventurous about it. Um, so I can see you maybe starting a side hustle besides your regular job that would be very fulfilling for you. Um, but there's part of you that's hoarding. It's like you don't trust that you can do it without the help of somebody else or, um, that, let me show you how I'm looking at that, or that, um, that what you thought you were building may or may not end up with this person in particular, so you're willing to move forward without them, so you can keep going on this adventure of this idea you have, or what you're going to do with yourself as a career person. Right? So I think that you're rethinking what kind of matters to you. I think for a while you realized that you were focused on a lot of stability through your career, but also you could be flexible in that and maybe start something new if you want. Um, some, or even something on the side that would give you... I'm hearing maybe even some of you do like an Airbnb thing or like a timeshare or somewhere that you like to escape to on the regular, but would also make you money in the meantime. That was a very specific thing to say, but if that resonates, please let me know in the comments. Um, I really feel that quite a bit. That might be a good solution for all of you uh, or most of you because I think that you like to travel. And I think that if you have one or two key spots that you like to go, that you would appreciate having even... I'm seeing like a cabin or a cottage somewhere. Um, you might have been unwilling to move previously for a career change or to end up where you wanted to go, Four of Swords, because it feels a little heavy starting off with this. You're like, no, nope, I'm going to sit here in my backyard and no other. But I, I see you willing to... Make some moves for somebody else. So maybe you're afraid that you didn't get a full-on commitment in a contract or with a partner that you were creating something with. And that made you resistant to making the bigger step because you want to know that it's solid, that it's contractual. Because I see that coming up later. Okay, so let me go into love. There's some shadow work there. And I really think this is spinning off of the career thing. Um, there's a choice that needs to be made. Chariot card. So it's like, I could go with you. I could do this. Or I could go on my own. Um, but am I safe if, if I go with you? Because I could go on my own and totally be safe. So you're looking ahead. You want to know what's the plan. What's going on. Are we doing this together or not? This is in love. So I see you kind of looking and closing the door. Um, uh, you're out of time. I see the hourglass being turned. Boom. No more wishy-washy. So if they haven't committed to it, you're going to go ahead and make a plan on your own and it doesn't have to include them and then they can shit themselves or whatever, right? 
It's judgment time. You called the shots. You're like, are you in or are you out? Are you going to marry me or no? Um, are you going to commit to this business or not? Um, this is doing something you love with someone you love. And you're, you're not going to sit by and just let it slowly happen anymore because it's been long enough. Okay. Um, so two of cups. There's an actual love coming together here. This is the offer. I really, really like it. So this is you calling somebody else out. Are you in or out? All right, let's go to, oh man, career, love, and money, yo. Okay, let's go to money. Let's see what's happening with your money right now. I see you on an adventure. I think that you have enough built up that you're willing to go on some adventure, have some fun, maybe travel a little bit, okay? Um, the thing is you want to do something that you actually love with this money. When you spend this money, when you use this money, when you're doing what you're doing, you want to make sure that it's something you really enjoy. You don't want to just be, you don't want to be frivolous. You want to be content in your heart, right? So here's you in surrender. And I really think that the way that you're handling your money has to do with, um, I'm hearing father. So some of you might have a father who was being control of money or controlled how your home is or controlled how your money goes. You, some of you had exes that determined what you felt was your worth. And now you realize that your worth isn't tied to their love or their money or them giving to you that you have surrendered and seen a different perspective that your money isn't reliant on that father or that masculine energy or that ex or literally your father. It is dependent on your wound and what you think you deserve and what you've learned about money and what you've learned about love is affecting your finances. So what you need to know is you can make it yourself bake your own cake, eight of pentacles, that this wish fulfillment, this, this stability, this coin that you make can come from you. You're the one who makes this happen with you creating your own and keeping a distance from this energy that was ruling over you. You found your own way to take care of you and you don't need somebody else to be authoritative over you or take charge of you and your money or take care of your life. You're no longer needy. You're no longer codependent. And you're willing to let somebody come in so long as they're reciprocal and, you know, they give back to you because you're a giver and you never th realized before that while you were giving, you weren't really necessarily getting back, right? So now you want reciprocity. Keep that money flow going. Okay, so let's tie this together. You have the star card. This is hope. This is hope that I can be nurtured and have something that I'm growing and tending to. This is me following the astrology, um, knowing that the cosmos are working in my favor. Um, and if I just look down the end cards on these rows, so here's, here's career. I don't know. I better hang tight because this is how I pay my bills. There's the career hanging tight for a pentacles. Then there's love to a cups. I'm so in love. I love you. Let's share this love together. And then on the outside, we have the two of pentacles. We're juggling. Maybe their own money, maybe your money, maybe you're thinking about sharing your money with somebody else, but you're willing to take a different approach to money and less hoarding and more focus on love. So as long as you're sharing love with the right person, this will be okay. But if it's not a true love coming back at you, there's no way that you're going to allow that in because you're only focused on what's working star card. You're only optimistic about your future opportunities and that's it. Okay. Let me grab you something from the answer is simple. I'm going to end it here. Reaching out. Boop, boop. So cute. So this could be taken two ways. So here's that needed little child reaching out for Papa. What did I say about father energy? And then also this is asking someone to be there to nurture you. 
This isn't a baby asking for money. This is a baby asking for a hug, asking for love. Like, please hug me. Please nurture me. Please be there. And if you're the one that's going to do that, I would be more than glad to share my home, my money, my career, my space, my business idea, whatever, with you. But show me that you love me, right? So, depending on who you are and what side of the coin you're on, ah, uh, the get my money joke, um, you can definitely make yourself happy, for show, for show, for show. All right, I'm going to leave it there. That was a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to let you digest that now. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. If you hit that bell notification, you'll be notified of when the next video comes out. Truly appreciate you being here. If you would like a personal read, head over to ComfySoul.com. I will not reach out to you, so that's how you prevent scammers, okay? Um, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye.